Hi, my name is Megan and welcome to my very first crochet show and tell video. Before I dive on into things, I think I'll take a minute to introduce myself and maybe tell you why I decided to make a crochet YouTube video and, um, and we'll just go from there. So for starters, I live in a small rural Indiana town and uh, I live here with my husband and we have three kids. Um, I'm a stay-at-home mom and crochet is is what I do in my free time. It's pretty much everything that <laughs> I do outside of, um, you know, mom, mom stuff. So, um, but film, starting, making a YouTube video was kind of out of nowhere. Um, talking in front of a camera is something that's actually uncomfortable for me to do. So if I seem a little strange, um, Hopefully the uh, awkwardness isn't coming across too strongly on the video. But, um, no, there's a couple reasons I wanted to do it. One was I absolutely love watching these types of, of shows on, on YouTube while I crochet at night. But the, the problem that I find is that they're so hard to find. And maybe it's just me that I have trouble finding it, but it seems like there's millions of knitting ones, but the crochet ones are few and far between. So I, I thought, you know, if I made one, maybe I'd help someone else who was in the same boat I was having trouble finding it, finding videos like show and tell videos and, and stuff like that. So why not? <laughs> another, another reason I wanted to do it is to, um, to be able to show my grandma what, what I've been working on. Um, I live, um, about an hour and a half away from my family. So, uh, actually being able to show her what I'm working on and uh, you know walk her through everything is probably a lot better than a little five minute recap whenever I see her so if you're watching hi grandma <laughs> love you <laughs> so but anyways um, I, st I taught myself how to crochet about two years ago and within the last year I've decided to um, take it more seriously or to take that extra step and uh, make it more professional if you will so um, I started an Etsy shop um, it'll be it'll be a month now uh, here in a few days that I opened it and uh, I started participating in um, craft fairs and uh, this year I did the farmer's market, which is extremely out of my comfort zone, but I'm so excited that I did it. I've um, been having a lot of fun with that. That started in May, so I've been doing it for a few months now. So just to, uh, just to try new things and get it out there and just kind of keep pushing myself to go out of my comfort box and try new things and just broaden myself and make myself a better crafter and in, in general so the uh, the name that I chose for I like to call it my hobby business is toe creations and I know it seems strange like a strange name for um, crocheting but actually toe is an acronym for my kids uh, their names are Tucker Oliver and Ellie so once I thought of that any other name that I thought of just didn't even cut it like didn't even come close so Toe Creations is what it is, and and I love it, and I wouldn't change it. So, they're such a big part of my life that I just had to name, had to name it after them. So, besides crocheting, um, I am in the process of trying to teach myself to knit, which is, it's it's going. <laughs> we'll say that it's. I find it to be extremely awkward. Um, I, I feel like I don't have enough hands or, or fingers and so um, I kind of get not frustrated but annoyed or impatient. Um, I'm used to things working up quickly and with knitting it just seems to take forever. So, um, But it'll just get better with time. I, I do enjoy it so I'll, I'll keep at it and you know hopefully progress <laughs> as I learn a little bit more learn a little bit more about it so uh, yeah so we'll see where that takes me 
So I guess we'll get started. I think that's good enough for now. And uh, we'll start with finished objects. Um, since this is my first video, and I don't really know where to start. So I thought I would just show you what I have been making and taking to the farmer's market. And that would be a pretty good starting point. So let's start with that. So the first things I want to show you are some bucket hats that I made. I'm going to put it on my head here. These are using 100% cotton. And this is actually my first time making bucket hats. But I, I really like how they turned out. I think they're really cute. So this one's like a cream colored and orange. It was a free pattern on Ravelry. And I can't think of the name off the top of my head, but it, it, has, it has something to do with yacht. It has yacht in the, in the name of it. I'll find it and post it somewhere um, on this video. And then I have another one that's like a, I don't know what color this is. I guess like natural, I guess you could call it. And like a lavender purple. I really like this one. I think it, I think it's really cute. It won't fit on my, on my little head guy there. But it's the same thing, just so this one's a little smaller. So. I, th I really like that one. Um, another thing I've been working on are coasters. I sell coaster sets in sets of four. And I've got one right here. I mean, I got my tag on them. Let me try to move that tag. But they're little flowers. I'm sure you, many of you have seen these on Pinterest, this pattern. But I just love this pattern. It's it's kind of got a vintage uh, flair to it. And I just think it would go good with any type of home decor. Like, I just think they're adorable. So I have a few colors left in these. I have um, teal, yellow, gold, lime green. And then I have an ombre one, which starts off navy, then goes purple, light purple and then white so I think that one is really cute so I need to make a couple more of these build that back up um, what else here I've kind of been in a, a funk lately um, I've been trying to make some hats and it's just one of those things where everything I make is just not it's just not working <laughs> it's just maybe I'm being a little too OCD about it but um oh it's just they're not the hats they're just the wrong size they're not big enough they're too they're too big they're too slouchy not slouchy enough they're too long like oh, I just I just need to take a break from it so I had to do something simple to calm myself down <laughs> and so I did washcloths so these are what I have left I sold a I sold quite a few at the last this past weekend at the farmers market but nothing fancy just a simple um, single crochet half double crochet repeat so I've got I've got a bunch in various colors um, here's another one and then some solid colors You'll notice that I have a lot of this teal color. Like, it was the spring color for me. Like, I did everything in that color. I just, I love it. <laughs> I love it. So, pink and green. So. It's always good to have a stash of wash washcloths on hand. Everybody could use a washcloth. So, moving on. So this past spring I made, have you guys seen the mermaid tail blankets? Well, I made a mermaid tail blanket for my niece and it was a hit. She, um, my sister told me that actually she was scared to, to use it because she was afraid she would actually turn into a mermaid, which I thought was just adorable. So, um, I assume she's using it now, but I had some yarn scraps to use up so I made a small one mermaid tail blanket 
And this is for like a, a doll, like an American Girl doll, like an 18 inch doll. Because dolls get cold too, so. <laughs> so a little girl can have a, one for her, for her doll and one for her. So that was that one. I thought it was cute. <laughs> Next thing I was going to show you was, um, so I, I've been wanting to make bags and baskets. And so I, st I started off with a basket and we're not even going to, it's too soon to talk about that one. So we'll just, we'll just go to the bags. So the first bag I made, and this is all, these bags are 100% um, cotton. So this is the first one. I really like this one. It's got the long strap. It's got a solid circle bottom. And then the mesh, mesh, there we go, starts up the sides. So yeah, so there's that one. And then this one I really like. It was kind of a pain in the butt. I took two patterns and merged them together and it, it didn't go as smoothly as I thought it would but I got her I got her so here's this one I thought it turned out really cute and once again it's the teal color that I love so it's got shorter handles same kind of solid bottom So yeah, really pleased with how, these are my the first bags I've ever made, so I'm really pleased with how they came out. Moving right along, <clears throat> I've got some smaller things to show you. <clears throat> Excuse me. I made some newborn headbands for babies. They're really cute. They've got a little bow on it. So it's just like a ribbed headband with a little little bow makes me want to find a baby just so I could see <laughs> see it with it on so I've got a purple and white one I've got a blue and white one a white and teal one and then I have one that is red white and blue well it has some pink in it but I made this around 4th of July time got those we'll move on I got some bigger ones here so I have some crop tops let's see if I can get these to show up they're a little intricate I don't know if they're going to show up on camera oh there we go if I shine it in the door you can see it has like a, a flower motif, 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 motif there. It's really cute. So, let's see if I can hold this up. That's about how it is. So, this this part goes around your neck, and then these tie around and tie in the back. So it's like, you know, doesn't fit me, but <laughs> you get the point. So it's really cute. So I have three different sizes. I have this one. I have a considerably smaller one. And white. Oh, you can see it pretty good in that one. White. And then a larger one in that teal color. So these two, these two were done in I Love This Cotton from Hobby Lobby. And I don't I haven't used very many cotton yarns I've used that one and I've used the like the peaches and cream and sugar and cream one but when it comes to making like apparel you know um, I really like I love this cotton it's a uh, um, moldable I guess it's less scratchy and stiff is I guess what I'm trying to say so this is um, peaches and cream and it's a little not as, I don't know, it's just better. <laughs> so 
So I have those. And I've got a scarf to show you. Let me fix this real quick. Okay. So I've made some triangle fringe scarves. Oh my gosh, I love these. So these are made with Lion Brands Heartland yarn. So here's what that looks like. And I think that yarn is the best yarn for shawls. Uh, again, I'm new to shawls and haven't tried too many yarns out, but I, I'm i very pleased with Heartland's yarn. The, it's, it's very lightweight and it drapes like a dream. So I have people, um, I'll have them folded on the table at the, at the farmer's market and they'll touch it and go, ooh, you know, and pick it up. And they're like, oh, that's nice. <laughs> so, um, yeah. I've got a couple of these. This one's in purple, and then I've got a gray one, a teal one, and I've got a, a red, white, and blue one. So, oh, I made a sign to put on my table at the farmer's market to show like the different ways you, the different ways you can wear it. You can wear it as a shawl, like a hip wrap, like a swimsuit cover wrap, and then a, and then a scarf. So, it's beautiful. I really like those. Um, kind of winding down here. The ever so popular mug cozies. Got a bunch of them. Mug cozies. Sell these. Three bucks is what I sell them for. So I've got a bunch of different colors. A bunch of different colors in them and I probably need to make more. Um, I'm kind of getting down to the just a few left here but I've got them in all different colors I've got the variegated yarns I've got solid colors so a bunch of different ones those are always nice the thing about those that are nice is they're good for adults for coffee and tea and stuff like that but they're also good for kids for like hot chocolate I don't think a lot of people thought of that one <laughs> but so one of the smaller things which I'm kind of proud about is uh, what I'm about to show you next so one of my crochet goals is that I want to make patterns for other people to use so um, that's that's one thing that I would like to do so I'm still learning you know all these different stitches and you know different things you can make and how to make them and so I'm still learning and uh, but I'm starting to try to make my own stuff and this is one of the things I made and I'm so proud of it <laughs> so this is a a soap cozy or a soap saver pouch or a soap sock or they go by a bunch of different names but basically what you do is you put a bar of soap in here and then you cinch cinch it shut that's hard to say cinch it and then you just use it as a wash rag and then when your soap goes away you throw it in the washing machine and you can use it again or it's it'll be good for like um hotel soaps like all the small ones just plop a bunch of those in here or soap scraps oh yeah so I have these made in a bunch of different colors but I'll just show you the yellow one I've got like purple orange red camo I made them all different colors and if I can get my thing back in there there we go I've got a little my little card goes in there <laughs> so that was one thing that I wrote or made both I guess and then the other thing I made that I, I wrote is um, it's a wine bottle sleeve or a wine bottle cozy again different names but let me get a wine wine bottle and I'll show you here so basically you slip it on the wine bottle like so and then you take the ribbon I gotta put it down for this 
and you just tie it, tie it in a bow. It's not a pretty bow. I'm doing, I'm trying to do it fast and it looks pretty bad. You get the point though. But, um, so yeah, so basically the idea was for a gift, gifting um, someone a bottle of wine. So, um, my husband and I, we've, we've made wine in the past and we've given it out to people. And so I always thought this would be a really cute way to do it, especially, you know, this is Christmas colors, but, um, I'm actually doing one for a lady right now. She wanted one in Colts colors. So that's, that'll be fun to make. I haven't started it yet. I'm going to start that probably tomorrow, but, uh, get that done to her. So, so yeah, good for gifting. Um, I actually had an older gentleman at the farmer's market. He, he told me that this was like a beer coat, like a beer koozie, you know, for drinking a bottle of wine. Not really. I mean, I guess you could do it that way, but that was not my intention. So there's that. And I'm, that's all of my finished objects I have to show you right now. Um, at least from the farmer's market. That's what I've been taking and what what I've been working with. So a few other finished objects that I have to show you um, are charity hats. I, uh, I've always wanted to make charity items. And um, so I started this year and I have six hats so far. So this is my first one. This is actually the very first loom hat uh, that I made. I made it on a circular loom which I might show some loom stuff every once in a while I don't do it that often but it is kind of fun to do so there's that one there's this one this was a free pattern I think I found it on Pinterest maybe but it's crochet so there's another hat and then I have two little pom-pom hats for some little kids and I've got this one and then I have another one I can see it across the room on the floor my daughter got it she loves to wear it it's adult sized hat and she's two so it's huge on her but she loves it and she wears it all the time but it's over there <laughs> it's just a same thing pom-pom puff stitch hat so so yeah, that's about it for my uh, finished objects, and we'll just move on to works in progress now. Um, I don't have a lot of whips right now. Um, I'm getting ready to start hat making like crazy <laughs> to build up more um, of my fall stuff. I'm actually getting, I'm signed up to do officially one craft show it's a Halloween craft show and I'm so excited because Halloween's my favorite holiday so just the excuse to make cost like costume items and Halloween items it's just got me so excited so I have that coming up in October and that I have a couple more um, craft shows that I haven't decided if I'm doing yet but those are coming up also in September and October so um, so yeah, I kind of need to get the the ball rolling, start building up my fall stuff so I'm not so stressed out when it comes to it. So I just have two things, and really one is this hat. And really, it, it should be a finished object. All I have to do is put a pom-pom on it. I'm putting a pom-pom on it. But it's a nice warm hat. So there's that one. I love, again, the color. I love it. <laughs> and my other work in progress, which has been a work in progress for quite some time. And it probably will be a work in progress for quite some time because it's knitting. It's knitting related. But it's a, it's a wash rag. And I can't think of the, I can't think of the name off the top of my head. Again, I'll, I'll put it somewhere on here. But this is what I have so far. I don't know if you can see that. But so far, I think I'm doing pretty good. Um, 
on the edges, I don't know if you can tell in the video, but my edges down here are kind of loose. But the further it goes up, the tighter, the, you can tell I'm getting the tension down. But yeah, I only have one spot on here that it looks like there's a, there's a hole. It's right there. I don't know if you can see it, but I, I'm pleased with it for being my very first knitting, um, knitted object. So we'll keep working on it. We'll get her done. We'll see how it, how it turns out. So, but yeah, so that's all my works in progress is, uh, like I said, it's not very many, um, but that is soon to change. So I guess I'll talk about a few purchases I made here lately and then wrap it up. So I went to go visit my mom the other day and I stopped at a Hobby Lobby to pick up um, a few skeins of yarn that I needed for, for a project I was doing. So I got a white and a yellow one. So I went in for two skeins of yarn and I came out with eight. So I'll show you what I got. So the first one I got is this one. This is Andy's, what is it? Andy's Alpaca. It's from Yarn Bee. It's um, Hobby Lobby. It is 70% acrylic and 30% alpaca. It's 102 yards. Um, the color is Fantasy. I plan on making some mittens out of this. So I thought that was really pretty. And then this other one was kind of a splurge. I saw this yarn and I have never seen it before and I thought it was absolutely gorgeous so I had to get some. So it is Yarn Bee, Yarn Bee again, uh, Yarn Bee Glowing. And this is what it looks like. This color is Mariposa Prairie. Um, these are 60% acrylic and 40% polyester. It's 198, yeah, 198 yards. But like the, the colors are just so saturated here and then it's like they, they dole out. Here like this one. See, it's like so saturated here and then it dies out. So I, I have intentions of making a hat with these. So we'll see how it turns out. But I just thought they were so pretty. This one's like a coral and a teal color. And then I got another one. This one is Lace Wing Fields. And that one's pretty too. This one is kind of like ber it's berries is what I call is what I call it. It's your um, your purples and teals, pinks. But oh, just so pretty. I can't wait to see what it looks like um all worked out. So stay tuned for that. But so yeah, that's that's all I have to show you today. So if you enjoyed watching what I had to what I had to show and what I've been doing, um, please give a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to see future videos. As far as um, like a time frame on future videos, I'm not really gonna put a schedule on it. Um, just whenever I have stuff to show, I'll I'll make a video and show it. So hopefully it won't be too too awful long in between, but. If you would like to follow me outside of YouTube, you can find me on Instagram, Facebook, and Ravelry as Toe Creations. Um, Instagram I probably use the most. Uh, Facebook is, mo I post pictures mostly on what I have finished. Um, and Ravelry, I'm slowly getting back into it. Um, I was really gung-ho when I started it, um, but right now I've just kind of been using it for patterns. But I would really like to start using it um, more, <laughs> more here. Um, it's just such an amazing platform to use. And uh, I would like to get more involved in the crochet knitting community. And uh, I thought, I really think Ravelry would be a good place to do that as well as here on YouTube. So um, hope, hopefully I'll, uh, I'll see you guys there or around. And... I'll, I, I'll talk to you next time. Okay, thanks. Bye.